What's up, YouTubers? So before we get started with this video, on ESPN's NBA, they're going to be talking about the James Harden deal with the Brooklyn Nets. So let's see what they have to say about that. Boach, lay it out for us. What do we know about <laughs> how this happened and how we got to this point? First, guys, I am thrilled to be on this show. You guys know how much I love watching yes! you the guys. Man. But You're the man, it, it, Listen, <laughs> this, is, this is a massive deal uh, all around. Yeah, this is a huge trade. I cannot wait to see Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant all playing on the same team. You have Kyrie Irving with his weirdness going on, and then James Harden bringing his baggage. I cannot wait to see how this plays out. Uh, listen, for the Brooklyn Nets to go out and get James Harden, you know, this was something that Kevin Durant very much wanted. He and Harden started talking about this months ago. And listen, with the uncertainty surrounding Kyrie Irving right now, and I think there's still hope, expectation, he returns and plays for this team. Remember, free agency comes back upon you pretty quick in this league. You know, Kevin Durant's in the second year of a, uh, of a four-year deal. And getting Harden, that's another reason for, for Durant to want to stay. But now, if you get Irving back uh, and, and he's back to playing at a high level, you have a one, two, three. Uh, perhaps unlike we've seen in this league in the modern era, but certainly it comes at a steep price. For oh, it comes with a steep price, and I can't wait to see that price. Like I said, you get all those boys playing together, there's going to be a bunch of drama going on. So who's going to be the most ball dominant, how they're going to play that, where they're going to play that. I mean, this is going to be absolutely out of control, especially if Kyrie Irving comes back anytime soon. Four first-round picks uh, for... Uh, pick swaps. The picks are unprotected. One of those picks is coming from Cleveland. This is part of a three-way deal, really a four-way deal. Karis LeVert goes from the Nets to uh, the Indiana Pacers, and Indiana sends Victor Oladipo to Houston. So a lot of moving parts in this. Wow, Oladipo to Houston, huh? Deal. Yeah, you mentioned some of those moving parts, and the Kyrie piece of this is really interesting. I want to get back to that, but let's talk about this four-team deal. Give us a little more detail on the second-level part of this, other than just James Harden joining the Nets. Well, I, I think f th this was a deal, really, that came together uh, in the last couple days, and Philadelphia was very much uh, in pursuit of James Harden. Obviously, Daryl Morey, their uh, president, uh, traded for him in Houston, won a great deal with him. Uh, but ultimately, this Nets deal, this package, bringing Cleveland uh, into it, uh, got it done. And I think for Houston, you look at them, remember, they gave up a lot of picks in that Chris Paul-Russell Westbrook deal. They get them back and then some, and it gives the Rockets now, their new GM, Rafael Stone, an ability uh, to start a rebuild. Uh, Victor Oladipo's in the last year of his contract. You know, they can see how that goes. Do they want to re-sign him? Uh, does he want to be there? But uh, certainly a, a blockbuster deal by uh, you know any standard uh, in the NBA. And uh, it is going to be fascinating to see Harden and Kevin Durant reunited uh, in uh, Brooklyn. Obviously, they played in Oklahoma City together. And then Kyrie Irving, uh, likely, potentially, you would uh, expect at some point as part of that mix, too. Yeah, this is this is one heck of a deal. And I kind of talked about this earlier in the season, earlier uh, a couple of months ago, that this might happen and it came true. This is going to be absolutely crazy. If there was at any point you were kind of getting kind of bored with the basketball season, which I don't know how you would be because it's still early. Um, this should definitely revive your interest in the NBA because this is going to be a drama filled Brooklyn Nets team that I cannot wait to see. Um Again, you know, even just with playing on the court, who's going to be the most ball dominant? How are they going to play that? Um, what's going to happen in a locker room between these guys? What's going to happen, you know, uh, off the court, you know, with these guys and James Harden and partying and being a prima donna, pre prima donna, and Kyrie Irving with his weirdness and whatever he does, and Kevin Durant is kind of in the middle of all that. This is going to be a great. I cannot wait to see this team play. I cannot wait. Wow. As all this was coming down, Woj, on your Twitter, it was like looking around like.